2018 braking package actually started to take shape mid-2016 with a blind brake test at Road America. Now what I mean by that is Tony Kanaan, Ryan Hunter Ray, and Graham Rahal evaluated braking packages, but they didn't know which of the three they were evaluating. From that feedback of the test, PFC, or Performance Friction, won the contract. So why such a long lead time? Well, here is how a carbon disc starts life. This is known as a carbon blank. This was actually woven together by a computer from a single strand of carbon in a three-dimensional fashion along with resin and then put in an autoclave, essentially a giant oven under a vacuum, a thousand degrees Fahrenheit for this six months. That's why it's such a long lead time. This was much larger, thicker diameter. It's now been shrunk down to a high density, kind of like taking coal and turning it into a diamond, a very hard surface. Now PFC also has a very unique mounting system for taking that disc and putting it on the hub. They, instead of using nuts and bolts, they've used a pin system. It's much lighter. It allows this disc to float. That reduces the stress anything that might cause any kind of warping or vibration. And that won the Lewis Switzer Award at this year's Indianapolis 500. Now, one of the mandates by IndyCar was to make sure they have longevity. This is meant to last a third of a season because in some series where you have aggressive brakes, they actually design these brakes to last one race or maybe one session. Can you imagine throwing away a $12,000 set of discs a $3,000 set of pads after every session. Obviously, this is much more economically viable. There were some cooling issues when the PFC discs and pads were introduced early in 2017 because they needed more air. Well, the teams were allowed to make some modifications, which included the brake ducts. And together with a titanium heat shield on the back of the brake pads, that essentially alleviated the issue. Now for 2018, of course, there's a new universal aero kit. They've already made allowances to get more air for brake cooling. The final piece of the puzzle for 2018 for PFC are these new calipers, monoblock calipers. They're made from a single piece of aluminum, and of course, they have six pistons and a lot of cool technology. What's part of the technology that I really like is their new pad retraction system that they're working on patented. So, why do we care about pad retraction? When you take a pad and you apply it for braking, when you release the brake pedal, you want just a little bit of an air gap here so there's no drag. If it goes back too far, you retract too far, the next time you go to use the brakes, you have a long distance and a long pedal. Now remember, these cars pull five Gs in the corner, so if you have a little bit of an air gap, that can actually, the force can suck the pad over to the disc and cause some drag. They claim, they have a mechanical system that will be introduced that's zero drag. And what I love about the zero drag concept, this will make its way to our street cars. Zero drag means your brakes last longer and it improves your fuel economy.